flip side on that. Hey, how are we, everybody? Thank you guys so much for coming out and supporting live comedy. Give it up for Kat, Christian, Mike, thank you for tonight. people yelling at homeless people. So thank you. Thank you very much. Did you guys uh, find this place all right? Woo! Yeah, obviously. Right, we're sold out. I'm not originally from here. I, uh, I'm originally from uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Right there. Uh, everybody uh, from Michigan gives you the hand. You know, I used to be from Florida. But... I only do that joke because I have a mole that looks just like Lake Okeechobee. That's the only, only reason I do it. So. But I got here, uh, I have a, I just bought a GPS, uh, a Garmin GPS. Who has one of those awesome, awesome device, right? I love it, because I hear that woman's voice, and it fills the car, and she knows exactly where I am, tells me exactly what to do, and lets me know exactly when I'm wrong. And then my GPS repeats everything that my girlfriend just said. And then you realize I just paid $150 to be in two controlling relationships. You ever think you know a better direction than the, than the Garmin and have to listen to that lady tell you all of the directions on how to get back to where you screwed up? Right? I missed a turn and she's like, in 500 feet, turn left and left and left and left. I'm like, bitch, I'm in a parking garage. <laughs> Although I did buy a Garmin, though, and the lady inside of there hates my guts. I know she does. She took me off of the freeway and drove me straight to some ghetto around here. And I know, and she's like, in 500 feet, arrive at destination. I'm like, I am eight miles from any destination. Because that is a crack house. Oh, uh, well, I am happy to be here. Seriously, I am. Because uh, six hours ago, I uh, was at a day job. And my day job, I am a stockbroker. somebody quits or gets fired. Because that is the one day you can upgrade all of your office supplies without a bunch of crap from HR, right? They will rape and pillage that cubicle like Detroit on Halloween. I didn't even know somebody got fired and her 65-year-old receptionist came down the hall in her walk and she said, out of my way, bastard. Mama need a three-hole punch. And I always feel bad for the guy who's going to roll up on that cubicle his first day, right? Because the light's going to be busted, there's going to be plywood over the computer screen. No casters in his chair, it's all jacked up on post-it blocks. It's moving into corporate section 8 at that particular point. And I'm always amazed at what people will actually steal when somebody quits. I got passed by a dude that had the side of somebody's cubicle over his head going, Spro, don't tell anybody! <laughs> later I'm like I'm pretty sure people are gonna know yours is the only one with a roof uh, hey uh as Jeff said my name's Kim any Kim's in the crowd tonight any dudes I only asked because I've only been to one show where there was only one guy named Kim and uh he sat in the front row and I don't even think he's 
spoke any English because he was Korean. And, uh, he didn't pay any attention. I said, any kids in the crowd? He said, oh! Because I introduce myself to people and they hear it and they just don't want to believe it. Because tonight I did introduce myself to four different people and I got four different reactions. I said, hi, I'm Kim. And they said, oh, hey, nice to meet you. Jim, Tim, Ken, and Fag. I was like, really, Fag? That's a little offensive. I mean, you didn't even get a that right. And it started with... <laughs> hey, you know what would be funny? Because <laughs> I know my parents were made completely out of their mind when they were filling out the birth certificate. Because <laughs> I got a hold of it one day. means nothing and stands for nothing, there's not even a period behind it. And I was like, really, Mom and Dad, out of your 26 choices, you had to give me the letter E? My sister, Steve, was pissed. <laughs> if I did change my name, though, I, I think I'd change it to Urgent. That way people would actually call me back. <laughs> call me back, it's Urgent. <laughs> <laughs> See, our family makes really awful decisions, and that's where I get it, you know? Like, I wa accidentally walked into a hair salon not too long ago, um, and, you, and it wasn't because the names are a little deceiving, wouldn't you agree? I walked into a place called The Head Shed. I got a haircut just because I was just too embarrassed to leave. But, but while I was there, you know, like the, you know, and they play on your insecurities. I, they do. Like, I, have you ever seen people? I will do anything in a hair salon. And uh, I was in there one time and the lady's like, oh my God, you know what looks so good on you? You got your eyebrows waxed. And I was like, oh, really? Okay. Well, sounds great. See, apparently I, I felt good about myself going in, but now I'm a heinous butt troll until I have this done. And, and the process is always the same, right? They put that nice hot wax upon your face, right? There's talk of Narnia, unicorns, and butterflies. And I was like, <laughs> A thousand needles shoot through your face. I checked the back of my head because I thought hair had actually traveled through my skull and out through my face. And they are proud as hell of what they take off, aren't they? They're like, oh my god, look. I was like, that is my entire eyebrow, lady. Along with my own eyelid. You know, and then she did something that I thought was a little unconventional. She like showed me the mirror. I was like, you're not even done. Now you only did half of your job. You know, what am I going to do with the information? You know, like, oh, that looks awesome. Now, keep in mind that she arched my eyebrow to the top of my head. I don't even roll eyebrow hair up there, right? Right, so I have one here and one down here. I'm like, um, that looks good. Um, hey, uh, what am I going to say? Like, oh, let's do something different with the other side. Huh? Can you make this look like a gopher or maybe a lightning bolt? Or better yet, do nothing and I want to look like I'm questioning everything that everybody says. Hey, I'm Kim Sherwood. That's my time.